Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to paint Spirit and Friends Deluxe set. So as you probably have known, I've I've done a few cust uh, well I've done one custom video from Spirit Adding Free. And I did the blind bags opening. So here are the three friends and here we have the stable mates from the blind bags that I roll have in the description box below as a link so you can go check out that video if you would like. So here they are and we are now going to open this set. Oh, I got tape on my fingers. <laughs> so let's see what we have, okay? So here's the instruction booklet so we can see what's inside okay so here it is um, spirit chicolinda and boomerang um, here is how to paint some markings and shading and fading and here it is how to paint spirit Ch chicolinda and boomerang so here you kind of know what the colors are that you need are. So yes. And of course there's other ideas if you want to paint a Dunn or Appaloosa or Pinto or Bay or Rones. And then there's just saying the same thing in other color in other languages, not colors. So let's check this out. So this is the paintbrush that you get in this set. You only get one. Here are the paint pots and these are going from left to right. So the colors are Burnt Sienna, Burnt Umber, Black, okay, so this is burnt sienna, burnt umber, black, white, raw sienna, and yellow orch, orc, orc, it's, it's number six, it's that one right, ah, I can't move it like that, okay, it's that one, yellow orc, or orch, I don't know. So here they are, them all. So, this is the Chica Linda mold in this set that you get. This is supposed to be Chica Linda. So we're just gonna set her aside. Um, I don't know about this one. I, okay, wait. Okay, this is supposed to. Okay. So, this is a boomerang. This is a boomerang. I'm old in the set, but of course, you can paint him any way you want. If you want that one to be spirit, you can let that one be spirit. But this is the spirit in the set. And oh my god, look how cool they are. Ah, okay, so let's take that away. Put that aside and start painting. Yay! So I have put them like this, so I kind of know which horse is who. But of course, you need a glass of water. I have that right here, or a plastic bottle, or anything that works. Some paper towel because that is always useful, and of course, ah, the paintbrush that you get in this set. And we are going to start painting Boomerang. So he, he is a chestnut pinto. So we are just going to take white in this set right here. We're just going to dip our paintbrush in the paint and dip it in some water to, I don't know, loosen up the paint or something. <laughs> And we're just going to paint him in thin layers because white, if you don't have 
there is very yeah you can if you have like paint strokes on there it will be very visible so that's just a tip have a very watered down brush so you don't need to get those paint strokes so we're just going to paint him like so and yes now we are going to paint spirit so we're just going to take some paint dip it in some water and just paint on that coat color I don't know it just does not look like um, where's like the rich buckskin coloring like what is it because this does not look like a buckskin does it I don't know so we're just going to paint this model and then we're going to start painting Chica Linda Woo and now we're just going to paint Chica Linda and we're just going to take this yellow orc orch orc orc, orc I don't know dip it in some water as always because we want that paint to be soft So we do not get any brush strokes on there. La 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 la. And we're basically just going to do that until all the coats are finished. So yes. Now we're actually going to paint the markings that Boomerang has. So as you can see, this is supposed to be Boomerang. So we painted his coat all white and now it's perfecto. So we're just going to take the Burnt Sienna, which is this color in the set. And we're just going to take that and we are going to start painting his little pattern so I wouldn't take much paint on it. I have very 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 little paint on my brush because now we're actually going to sculpt where his like patterns are so he has like um, he has oh my god <laughs> I'm so sorry he has three dots right there on his hind corners or on his Hip, basically <laughs> um, so we just okay you know what since all this like front leg right here is burnt sienna which is basically this color right here we can just paint that and that color and we're just gonna take a little bit of water to just make sure that it is smooth because of course we want smooth paint so we do not get like brush marks so I'm just gonna paint in the markings that he has on his body so now it's Chico Lina's turn to get a few of her markings so she has some white um, like a little high sock I would kind of say and probably like a low stocking and yeah and she has a little bit of her white on her muzzle so we're, we are going now to paint that in so we're just going to take some white from the set and going to paint it about from here and down ooh that's and do not have like a straight line because then it doesn't look like natural make it like go and like paint it like uneven from where it's beginning because then it looks really realistic so as you can see i'm not if i see now not and i'm doing that does does that look realistic to you no so we're just gonna do that because it gets uneven and then it just looks a lot more realistic and we're just gonna paint the suck like so and we're gonna I'm just gonna show you how I would paint the muscle because the character kind of has like a line 
but I don't want to do that. So we're just gonna do this and we're kind of just going to go up and just go up, 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 just paint upwards because then again it looks more realistic and not like, yeah, then it looks a bit more <laughs> realistic like I just said. So here we go, just painting the muscle, painting upwards all the way around that we cannot forget all the way you see how realistic that looks already that looks so realistic so we're just gonna go all the way around all the way around like so and if it just gets a little out of control, you can just dip your water in some finger and just clean it up like that. So we're just going to continue doing this, just painting on her markings. I know this does not look like spare, but seriously guys, I really, really, really tried and it does not look like this beautiful coloring right here that I actually wanted. It says in the instruction book like how to, um, how well, which color to buy them to get the buckskin coloring, and I did, and this is what I ended up with. Basically a brown horse, but uh, what can we do about it now, right? So we're gonna make the stockings that he has. So he has brown stocking, no, sorry, <laughs> black. So we're just going to take the black in the set, dip it in a little bit of black, and we're just going to paint from there and down, and then we're just going to go a little up, actually, <laughs> like that. I know it looks a lot. Just looks really weird right now, <laughs> and I could admit to that. But of course, we need to get all the sides, so that is what we're going to do. Like so, we're just gonna paint down a little bit, and then we're just going to paint up, like so, like that. So that looks okay. Like so, and he has like a black muzzle, but I'm going to paint that after I have done the boys. But of course, we're just going to continue doing all the four leggings, and we cannot forget to do the insides. So you can see right here in the. Um, Oh my god, in the uh, instruction booklet, thank you. And he has a blaze that you can see right here. So we're just going to paint that in right now. So I'm just going to take the white uh, from the set and put some on the brush. And hopefully this will not be a disaster. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, right down like so. And then it kind of just like goes out to the sides. But we kind of need to make them connect, so... Like so, and on the other side, like so. So now he's got his blaze. Now we are going to paint the mane and tail. So Chica Lee, Chica Linda, sorry, has.
has white mane and tail. So we're just going to paint it. Spirit has a dark brown mane and tail. So we're just going to take the dark brown that is in this, set, this color right here. And we are going to paint the mane and the tail in this color. Now we're going to take the same color that we painted his mane with. No, his body color, I'm so sorry. And we're just going to paint the mane and tail in this color. And wherever there is like a white patch, don't worry, it's going to be all the mane. Like the forelock and the mane. So everything is going to be that color. So who's coming galloping in now? Oh my god, it is my version of Spirit! He looks absolutely beautiful, you guys! I know I didn't get the boxing coloring that I wanted, but I think he looks pretty good still. So here is his mane and tail, as you can see, and his adorable, sweet, sweet, sweet face. I actually did... I did uh, five colored eyes on this horse as well as I've done with some of my other customs. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. What I did was basically put white in this corner right here and then a little bit of like pinking in this corner and then I did the burnt umber and then I took black and then a little bit of like, like that light brown, that raw sienna I think it was. And yeah, I think it looks really beautiful. I did that on both sides and I painted in the eyebrows. Ah, he's got eyebrows! <laughs> and of course, you cannot forget about the sweet, sweet, sweet blaze that he has and the black muzzle. So here, he's just gonna stand. And another horse that is coming galloping in now is Boomerang. So this is my version of Boomerang. I think I did the, his spottings really well, where his spots are really well. It was really hard to like measure out and all that, but I think I did really well. I think I did a good job on that part. He's got gray hooves, and I did the same thing, but I did it with the light brown and then took that, um, oh my god, this this color right here as a little under just to make a little bit of definition and I took a little bit of pinking on his muzzle and I did a five colors eyes just like he did and of course I painted in the eyebrows ah! I painted in the eyebrows on this beautiful guy right here so I did it on both sides and I think he looks really good I think he looks good it was a hard project but it was so much fun so here's my boomerang so who is oh oh Chica Linda oh the sweetheart and the series so I did try to do a Palomino coloring and I think I did okay um I did the same thing with these with the eyes um not with boomerang but I took this her body color and put it as the main iris and then black and then a little bit of like the brown as an underline just to make it a little bit more definition. She has white mane and tail and some socks on there and of course like natural colored hoofs and a white muzzle and I think she looks adorable. Of course I painted in the eyebrows like the other horses in the series as you can see and I think she looks good. Ah. So this set was so much fun. I really do wish that Briar actually gave you the colors that you needed to paint spirit like the buckskin coloring i really wish that you got that in the set but there's nothing i can do about that now but if you manage to get him in the buckskin coloring then hooray for you because i did not do it i followed the instructions and i just could not do it but i thank you so much you guys for watching this video it's i just love customizing and i have a few more spirit free customizing projects for you guys so make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on any spirit writing free videos with me